What's up mga kap? On this Tuesday tutorial, we will talk about nurses. How can a nurse apply for AIPP program? If you are registered nurses in the Philippines or currently working in the Middle East as a registered nurse, this video is for you. Consider to subscribe because there's a lot of videos that is coming for you. There's a lot of information, informative video that is created for registered nurses. And also, I would like to invite you to join our Facebook group. It's Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. If you're looking for a support group, if you're looking for uh, a group that will help you to answer some inquiries, join the Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. And don't forget to follow us on our Facebook when in Halifax. So let's begin. If you're a registered nurse, there's a three program for AIPP. This is the two of focus on intermediate skilled program. So if you're a registered nurse, your NOC is 3012. Remember, your NOC as a registered nurse is 3012. And your program for AIPP is intermediate high skilled program okay let's move on so for EIPP for EIPP you need to be eligible the question is how can I be eligible for EIPP program there are four important things that you need to remember first work experience second language test third education fourth is proof of funds so let's discuss about the work experience you need to have 1,560 hours of work experience. When you say work experience, it's full-time and it's paid. Voluntary is not counted. Um, training is not counted as work experience. Internship is not counted. Only the paid full-time job is counted as a work experience. For the language test, there's two two language organization that you can choose. First is the IELTS and the other one is CELPIC. So if you're taking a, um, AIPP or Canada Express NT or Provincial Nominee, the IELTS requirement is general training. Again, general training. So if you have an academics already, you need to take another general training. Always remember, AIPP program, general training and the good news for the AIPB program is the requirements for the CLB or the language score that you needed are very low only CLB4 okay for the language test CLB4 general training IELTS let's move to education education you need to have an ECA report or ECA advisory what is ECA ECA is education credential Credential assessment. There are different organizations that offering the advisory report, which is the West, ICAS, and CES or cons, uh, Comparative Education Service. So these are the organizations that evaluate your ed, uh, your education back home. So what is ECA? It's easy to, to remember, it's easy to understand. ECA is the regulatory, it's an organization that quantifies or identify your education in, in the Philippines comparing the education to Canada. The fourth one to be eligible for AIPP is the proof of funds. When you say proof of funds, this is one way to show to the government that you can support yourself and your family once you landed here in Canada. So if, if under AIPP program, the four Four members of family, the four composition of family is around 5,885. So how to compute the composition of the family? You as a principal, spouse, kids. If you have two kids, then four. If you have one kid, that's three. Okay? So again, if you're four composition of family or four members of family, that is 5,885. So the next big challenging, this is the challenging part of eligibility. To be eligible for AIPP, the fifth one is to get a job offer. The AIPP 
the AIPB program or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, you need to have a job offer or you need to be hired by a designated employer. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how to find a designated employer. So the first one is you need to go to Nova Scotia website. So once you're in Nova Scotia website, don't worry mga kap, I'm going to post this link on the description below. So these are the designated employer list. So on this list, you will see the company name. So you don't know what, what kind of positions that are available for each company. So only the company name are listed here. So on this list that I'm showing to you right now, it's from Nova Scotia and it's only the company name. So all the company names that are listed here means that they are a designated employer. The second list is I'm going to show you the New Brunswick designated employer list. Again, it's all the names of the company that are designated employer. The third one is the Prince Edward Emplo designated employer list. So again, it's the same. You can only see that the company name. So there's no job position, um, how many people they are looking for, or what kind of position that are open. You cannot see from here. And let's move to designated employer list from Newfoundland Labrador. The good thing about here is this are you will have an idea of the NOC number. So you will see okay, this company Ontario Incorporated Extended Stay St. John. You will see that this NOC they are the these are the NOC they're looking for. So these are the employer designated employer list, and you will have an idea what kind of employment they're looking for. Okay, so let's move on. So now that you know to be eligible, um, how to be eligible for EIPP, now you know how to find the designated employer list from their government's website. The sec the third up the third step that we're going to do is how to find a job. How to find a designated employer um, and um, using the job search engine website. So the job search engine website, the highly recommended is the job bank. So this is the job bank. The job bank is the government uh, job search engine website. So this is the job bank. This is uh, run by the government, maintained by the government. All listed are government to verify. So you will see this. The second recommended job searching in engine website is the Career Beacon. Career Beacon is highly recommended by myself because when I applied for a job way back 2016, Career Beacon is the commonly uh, used by the company here in Halifax. The second one is the Indeed. Indeed.ca uh, is also good for searching job. So what I want you to do now is you go to um, Career Beacon, okay? And as a registered nurse, you cannot apply for registered nurse because nurses are regulated profession. So instead of registered nurse, what I want you to search is continuing care assistant. So what we're going to do is to type for Nova Scotia and you go for browse companies because we already know from this list that Shanex, okay, Shanex is a designated employer list. So when I go to uh, Career Bacon, I'm going to find, uh, to find continuing care assistant, okay? I'm going to look for Nova Scotia because the, the designated employer list that I look for are from Nova Scotia list. And then I know that Shinex is listed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type continuing, continuing care assistant, Nova Scotia, and the company is Shinex and apply. So then when you, I click search, you will see all the job posting from the Shinex company. So if you're a registered nurse, you just look for continue again. You cannot apply for registered nurse because you're regulated. 
unless otherwise you already have you already took the exams and you are registered nurse here in canada then that's the time you apply for registered nurse if not if you're registered nurse let's say in saudi or philippines i will not advise you to apply for registered nurse because they will never hire you because it's regulated but then don't lose hope because if you're registered nurse in the philippines we're considered as international educated nurses as an IEN or international educated nurses, you can apply for um, for continuing care assistant or personal care worker. So we will look for, uh, uh, let's say for this one, daily living assistant part time, 13, uh, 13 days ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click apply now. Second here is personal care worker. worker. I'll just type again Shanex and this is what I found. Registered nurses, public health nurses. So if you find that this is not uh, this is not, not your job position, don't apply here because you're just wasting your time and effort. Go to continuing care assistant instead of registered nurse. Uh, client medication assistant, you can apply here. Just um, check the um, the requirement is a Shinex Client ser uh, Service Assistant Certificate, Personal Home Support Worker Program or Equivalent, Client Medication Assistant. So it's Shinex. Um, daily Living Assistant, this is like a home care. Uh, you can apply from here if you're a registered nurse in, in the Philippines. Okay, so just apply this and then um, um, because you know that Shinex is a designated employer list, right? So, so these are the job uh, These are the job search engine website. Again, Career Big and Job Bank and Indeed. Now we we back to our topic. You already know how to identify yourself as eligible. You know how to find a designated employer list. Now you can find a a, a job from a job search engine website. The fourth one is to be hired. How can you be hired by this company? The first one is you need to follow the Canadian format. The Canadian format for resume and cover letter. The main thing is, I will not discuss on how to write a resume on this video. Maybe I'll create a separate video or maybe I will ask for a professional advice from my, our common friends that can help us to share more about the how to write a resume. But on this video, my best advice for you is to sell yourself. Instead of saying, hire me, how uh, hire me because I'm a registered nurse, or I have this experience in this and this. How about you say, this is what I can do for your company. It's like you're selling yourself and you're telling what you can do to grow the business. If you're a registered nurse, this is what you can do for the resident because you have this experience in in the hospital from from this country and this and this and this so it's like selling yourself and the best advice that i can give to you is to make sure that when you are sending a resume or cover letter make sure that it's customized to every job position that you submitted make sure that the, when you submit for application make sure that this is uh, not a generic resume, not a generic cover letter. Because as, a, as an employer, they can check, they can tell, they can feel that this is not a genuine application. There's no uh, touch of uh, TLC or tender loving care. But as a registered nurse, make sure that you show the passion, the, the eagerness. You show that you can really help them to grow their company or their business so as a registered nurse give time to write resume give time to write a cover letter make sure that you show to them that you're passionate about the job and you are the one um, you are the best applicant in the world because the competition is global so so yeah that's it um i hope i'm able to explain to you step by step process and i hope i'm able to help you to find a designated employer don't worry mga kap, i'm going to post the link all the list of designated employer list uh, per province and consider to, consider to subscribe to our when in halifax youtube channel 
help me to grow our community because sharing is caring. Once again, it's Cap Joey. See you every Saturday, 12 noon Manila time. We have a live streaming with Miss Amelia of Adjok International. Thank you mga Cap. Bye!